Well, we're a long ways from home. We drove all the way to Fort McMurray, Alberta, which if you look at a map, I mean, it's in Northern Alberta. We had a, about a 16 hour drive from Devil's Lake. It wasn't too bad. You could definitely fly into Fort McMurray. We decided to drive up just uh, because of all of our camera gear and stuff. But from Fort McMurray, we took a float plane into Tazan Lake, which if you were to look at a map, Tazan Lake is basically right on the Saskatchewan border up near Northwest Territories. But people come up here for giant lake trout. I mean, if a giant lake trout, you know, say a 30 pound fish or bigger is on your bucket list, this is a place to come. And so, you know, there's only a handful of lakes really. You know, you got Great Bears Lake, Great Slave Lake, just a handful of lakes where you can, you have an opportunity to catch some of the, some of the very biggest lake trout. What sets this lake apart is it's a little bit smaller lake, and so it doesn't matter what direction the wind blows, doesn't matter how hard the wind blows, you can get out here fishing. And so just a tremendous area, just a bucket list for us to come up here and, and hopefully just touch a giant lake trout. I'm making some new friends. Everywhere you go, labs love to chase sticks. <laughs> hopefully we'll catch a big lake trout here on today's show. Yeah, like they are like super fired up there. Yeah, like they're chasing us down. Yes, big time. We should almost get slack lined in that. That's craziness. Got him? All right. Fish on. Oh, I just missed one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that is a good start, at least. Please How's it come feel? to the boat. It feels decent, actually. Good. Good fighter. All right, I'll reel up here. Get out of your way. Oh, that's a good fish. That's oh, a wow. really good fish. Yeah. Yeah, that is a gorgeous fish. Show us the money. Please, 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 please. <laughs> <laughs> nice hey, that's job. That's pretty good for first yeah. drop. Yeah. That's a very nice fish. Show oh, me wow. money. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good lake trout. That's a good lake trout. Oh, <laughs> nice job. Right on. Nice right job. On. Right on. <laughs> that is good. That is that great. That is great. Exactly. Look at this beautiful Tazan Lake Lodge lake trout. This is actually our first fish of the day. <laughs> Sharp shooting these fish is just so much fun. We've had a couple bites. Watching these fish chase is just unmatched. Get a quick release on this fish. Support the fish in full. Get a nice shot right there. Clean, probably 32, 33 inch lake trout and gone. Perfect start to the day. All right, buddy. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> that is a perfect start. You know, in my opinion, you know, lake trout are, are probably one of the ultimate predators. I mean, there's nothing like a lake trout. I mean, they, you know, as far as just being able to accelerate the horsepower that these fish have, how they can shoot up in the water column, shoot down in the water column, turn, I mean, they are the ultimate predator. I mean, if you're a fish less than 12 inches long, less than 20 inches long living near lake trout, you're in deep trouble. The fact that these fish are such incredible and effective predators makes them so fun to fish. I mean, these fish just have horsepower. When you hook into a lake trout, whether you're vertically jigging below the boat or trolling behind the boat, I mean, you know it right away. I mean, they, these fish just have a mind of their own. Sometimes you crank them up halfway, almost up to the boat and they just go right back down to the bottom, but these fish don't quit. You know, they just have so much, so much power, so much speed. And all these things combined, you know, as far as making a lake trout the perfect ultimate predator in fresh water, also makes it the ultimate fish to fish for if you just love a fish that battles and doesn't give up. One of the funnest ways to catch a lake trout, in my opinion, has definitely got to be sharp shooting. And basically what sharp shooting means is I'm in forward and I'm constantly watching my sonar. We've got a bunch of 60 foot, 50 foot water out here. So all I'm doing is driving around and as soon as I mark a fish, instantly I'm throwing the boat in reverse, dropping my bail, and I'm actually able to watch my jig fall 
and then I'm being really aggressive. Leg trout, you cannot possibly reel it fast enough. So I'm gonna say I hit bottom now, and I'm just gonna be popping, reeling, get that boat back in neutral, staying right above the fish as best as I can, and then watching those fish chase and eat a jig is just unmatched. Jason and I have done it all week. It's been so much fun. You know, the sharpshooting technique, I mean, it basically allows you to use a lot lighter tackle, jig for these fish, which is a lot of fun, but you know, this is something that'll work anywhere. I mean, if you're finding fish in less than 80 feet of water, <laughs> used to be where people thought you had to use wire or downriggers to catch lake trout, not anymore. With today's electronics and everything we've got in these boats, I mean, it's a lot of fun to catch fish on lighter tackle. Got him. Fish. All right. How's it feel? Uh, I get real up on your way here. Giant, but as soon as I went up to start my jig stroke, he ate it. <laughs> nice. Oh, look at that rod. Yeah. Fun stuff. <laughs> and I would argue there's not a funner way to catch a lake trout. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, nice looking fish. fish. They're just beautiful. I just love how dark these fish are. They are pretty. That is actually a really cool fish. So if you're going to be jigging lake trout, I mean, there's a lot of things that work. Basically, you can't go wrong with just a jig and a soft plastic tail. Like this here's just a four inch Shields Pro Swimmer. Just a paddle tail, just like something you'd use for walleyes or bass. The biggest thing is you wanna have a really stout, heavy hook. And so, just your paddle tails, and then obviously your tube jigs, like these are Northland level head tube jigs. You, they come pre-packaged. You just take them out of the package and start catching fish with them. But they've got this little stinger in the back. Now in Saskatchewan, there's nothing pertaining barbed hooks per se, but at this particular camp, they make you pinch the barbs down, which is just a good practice for handling these fish. But wherever you fish for lake trout, I think a tube jig is kind of a prerequisite. And if there's one color you have to have, <laughs> most people would tell you white. You know, so there's parts of this lake that are four or 500 feet deep, but for the most part, you know, we were fishing anywhere from say 80 feet up to maybe 40 feet. Some fish were as shallow as 30 feet, but you know, this lake is deep and it's very clear and it's very cold. And so a lot of times what we would do is we would just basically drive off of deep structure, mark fish, and then just drop right down on top of them and vertically jigging the lake trout. I mean, that's as fun as it gets. You know, some of the very biggest fish are caught trolling where we're trolling in say 60 to 90 feet of water where we're just using heavy lead weights, 12 ounces of weight to get lures down and basically just long line trolling these fish. But uh, it is a tremendous fishery where you can catch big numbers of lake trout, but also have the potential, the opportunity to catch some giant fish. So one of our favorite ways to target lake trout at Tazan Lake Lodge is of course trolling. And one of the biggest reasons for that is because we can cover a lot of water. One of our favorite big fish spots, our go-to spots, is a mile by two mile with all sorts of different structure. So being able to troll with a line counter reel is essential. The benefit of a line counter is because you can kind of judge from your distance to depth on how far back you are. And we've got crazy structure. We're in 50 feet now, but in only 20, 50 feet, we can be in 100 feet. So having, being able to adjust your line according to your depth is really essential. Uh, another big thing is we love pounding bottom. So watching that tip of your rod with the flat fix is going to be going like this and then some big steady thumps to pound bottom, make some disturbance and target these big giant lake trout. Fish buddy. Okay. I felt him coming. Good fish. This feels like a really good fish. Okay, I'm reeling up here. Getting out of your way here. You got her? I'll get ready with the net here. She's at 70 feet. Well, it's gonna be a good fish. He's getting heavy now, fellas. All right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for. Yeah. Please. <laughs> okay, he's at 10 feet here. Okay. My line counter is definitely off a little bit because I'm at zero feet, but he's going to be close here. Okay, uh, where are you going to try to bring him? Right to you if I can. Okay, okay. Oh, come on. Please stay pinned. Please stay pinned. Crazy head shakes. Crazy head shakes. Oh, oh it's a big yeah, fish. it's a big fish. It's a huge fish. Oh, wow. It's a huge fish, Jason. 
Okay, huge fish, buddy. Yep. Huge fish, yep. buddy. Let's try to swing them to your right if you can. Yeah. Oh, that's a get big the surface. fish. Giant fish, giant fish. Come okay. on, buddy. I'm at my leader. Okay, maybe the other side. You're right. Maybe All right, yep, yep, yep. Other side. Other side. Please. Okay. Please. Okay, just slide, ski him right in. Yeah. Get him, buddy. There we go. Got him. Hey. Got him. Oh, wow. Hey. Right on, man. That is a right hook zone. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's, that's awesome, a big man. Net. Look how big that fish is. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Oh, that is a nice, fat, clean fish. That is. Perfect. <sighs> Look at this beautiful Tazan Lake Lodge Lake Trout. <laughs> Out for a quick <laughs> evening fish. And as you can see, no long arm needed at this place. An incredible, fat, clean, healthy fish. A beautiful sunset behind us. Let's get this fish right back in the water. There she goes. One of the, the best things to do while coming up on a trip here is if you have a four day trip, it's really easy to break trips into, into pieces and that's what we like to do. Obviously keep everything fresh and allow you to enjoy everything that Tazin has to offer. And one of the best things that we have to offer is big pike fishing. We've had pike exceeding 50 inches, a lot of high 40 inch fish. So you can come for these big lake trout and fish lake trout, sharp shoot them, troll them. But then you can also split those days into pieces um, if you got a big wind day or whatever it may be and to target pike. You know, the saying is up at Taz in here is you come up for the big lake trout, but you stay for the pike. And this lake has obviously got great pike fishing. And so we've been just breaking up the day. I mean, you know, you come up here for, say, come up here for four days. You know, the days are so long that you've got plenty of time to do different things. And so we're back up in these bays here right now. Just doing a little exploring. You know, these shallow bays are like five, 10 feet of water. There's all kinds of nice green stands of cabbage coming up we're just casting baits over the cabbage there he is oh yeah there's a good fish there oh come on oh taking me around <laughs> wow that's a nice pike oh yeah that's oh. a nice fish that's a very nice fish <laughs> oh come on Oh, awesome, job, man. awesome, awesome, awesome. Isn't that something? Golly, that's the thing. You know, you come up in this part of the world, you got to do it all. And so we've been doing a lot of lake trout fishing and, you know, we've been just breaking up the days, you know, fishing for pike. And, you know, there's big pike in here, you know, 40 inch pike or better. They've seen pike over 50 inches in here. And so, wow, what a cool fish, cool strike. Just back in this bay here full of cabbage. That fish is living right where he should have been. Boy, don't you love the big basket, these nets? That's the thing, you know, whether it's a big trout, big pike, you just leave them in the water like this, in the net. Just a lot better for the fish versus having them flopping around on the floor of the boat. Oh my. That is a gator. Wow, that's a long, big pike. Wow, 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 wow. All right, let's get her in the water. Wow. There she goes. Wow, huh? Wow. <laughs> Those are fun. <laughs> that was a big pike. You know, so when you get this far north, you know, you don't see as many walleyes in a lot of these lakes. 
you know, you basically have lake trout, you have pike, some of these lakes might have grayling, but uh, you know, when you're up this far north, especially like on Tazan Lake, you know, there's some huge pike in here. And so, you know, we'd spent part of the day where we just break up the day just fishing for pike. And you go back up in these bays, it's just classic Northern Canadian pike fishing in the sense that you go up in these shallower bays, the water's really clear. So a lot of times you can see the fish and there's just these massive beds of cabbage and weed beds back in these bays where we're basically just casting and reeling. You could also troll in some of these locations, but uh, there's definitely some locations, some opportunities up here where you spend some time, you can catch big pike. But what's always shocking is you come up here and the number of fish that you can catch in some of these locations is just staggering. I mean, sometimes you'll cast 10 times in a row and either see a pike or catch a pike, you know, and the number of fish that are stacked up in these bays is, is just tremendous. When you look at all this deep water, you know, all the pike are basically confined to some of these bays. And, you know, it's just tremendous fishing that definitely something to do when you're up here. I think a lot of people would come to Taza just for the pike fishing if the lake trout didn't exist. But uh, to be able to target both and to have a realistic chance or an opportunity of catching big fish of both species, lake trout and northern pike, it just makes this part of the world so cool. We'd basically get up and have breakfast about seven o'clock in the morning and then head out and fish for most of the day. And you could either do a shore lunch or just pack sandwiches so that you can fish more. But in the days that we were up here, I think the biggest lake trout was 46 inches. There were some 44 inch fish caught. Biggest one we saw in our boat was 43 inches, but just tremendous fishing. And the number of 35 inch fish or bigger is pretty impressive. But not only that, but you can go and target numbers of fish too. And so you're catching a lot of fish at times, you know, especially if you're vertically jigging and sharp shooting these fish. It is such a fun way to catch these fish, especially when you can see these fish lighting up on the electronics where it just arcs, marks just shooting up, shooting down. I mean, it's just carnage down there when these fish are on as far as how they'll chase these jigs. We're out here trying to target a big fish and one of the best spots on this lake is called Trout Rock. And why it's such a good big fish spot is because we've got endless structure. We've got deep abyss to one side, deep abyss to another side, and the screen is just totally littered with bait. We got 40 feet, 80 feet, 150 feet. We've got all sorts of structure to bring these giant lake trout in here. We're trolling big crankbaits with heavy nine foot glass rods and we've got giant snap weights that are gonna be able to withstand not only pressure from the fish, but pressure from sharp rocks that we're trolling. And we've got a big extensive area with, we got sand, rocks, we've got all sorts of stuff, mud even. So having big long rods and big heavy line, we've got 80 pound fluorocarbon. The Seaguar stuff is like unbreakable actually. A good brand right there, 80 pound, it's easy to tie and it's still super heavy, which is really good. And for weight, we got 12 ounces of weight, which might seem like a lot, but we've, we're trolling deep. We've got 80 feet, even up to 120 feet sometimes we'll troll. So keeping your baits down there on bottom, making contact with bottom is essential. And that allows us to do a really good job of keeping uh, baits in the strike zone for as long as possible. There's a fish, 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 fish. Whoa. <laughs> I'm coming in, I'll get out of the way. Look at the net. This is something. We're <laughs> hardly even budging it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is a big fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Incredible, man. Incredible. It's crazy when you, they just dog you from that far out, eh? Yeah. That's when you know. Yeah. Still at 245 feet. <laughs> it's, gonna be, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> it's gonna be well after dark <laughs> by the time we land this fish. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my. <laughs> wow. That picture's got some serious I'm weight, just, eh? I'm just in awe of this. I mean, this is something. This is something. What's your line count? Oh, back to 70. Okay. 
Oh, he's hard to even lift. Wow. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Try to give it to him? You know, you come to a place like this and you just hope to see a fish like this, but you know, it's never a guarantee, you know. Not that we've even seen this fish yet, but. Still dancing on him, Jim? Okay, 70 feet. I mean, this is by far probably the heaviest fish I've ever had on you're in fresh water. Here? You're still getting line? When you're moving? Um, back up to 70. Okay. They're down right. to 70. That's all right. I can't really do nothing with it. <laughs> yeah. If you need, you can tighten your drag a touch for sure. 30? 27. Okay. Okay, yeah, I winch them all the way. See this okay. fish really soon. 12. Okay. Swing the boat out. Should there's see weights. Okay. okay, here's the weight. Oh, beauty. Oh, my. Beauty, man. Okay, okay, ready? Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. Oh my goodness, that took a while. There's a lot that can go wrong. Oh, wow. Daz and Lake. Wow. Oh my goodness, what a bucket list. What a bucket list. Oh my goodness. Oh, now you got hey. different parts of me that are just shaking. <laughs> wow. Awesome fish, man. Wow, wow, wow. Awesome fish. Wow. I'm gonna put my glasses down here and we'll <laughs> deal with this fish here. My goodness. Oh wow. Hey girl. Hey what, girl. what a what an incredible experience. There we are. Okay. Give her a second in the net. Oh Jason, what a clean, beautiful, big fish, man. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh my, that is a, that's oh, incredible. that's gorgeous fish. That's incredible fish. Jason, come grab your fish, oh, buddy. gladly, <laughs> gladly. <laughs> oh my. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh my, oh my, oh my goodness, oh my. We'll get her in the water here right away. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, I was hoping that'd be a little bit more graceful, but that fish had a mind of its own. Look at this. We're slimed up, buddy. <laughs> slimed oh, up, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a trip to Tazin. Yeah. Big lake trout, big pike. I mean, we've caught lake trout jigging, we've trolled, done a little bit of everything, but fish like that I mean think that fish is probably I'm 48 years old that fish is probably older than I am what an incredible place beautiful place what a bucket list unbelievable